from learning acrobatic martial arts in the span of a few weeks to passionately immersing himself in a video game, Pedro Pascal has some unique ways of preparing for his roles. Let's talk about how the Chilean actor really prepares for them. You find something new to fight for. Swear to me that everything you said about the fireflies is true. I swear. Okay. Starting with his latest super hit series, The Last of Us. When Naughty Dog's Last of Us came out in 2013, no one could have fathomed that it would go on to become one of the greatest video games of all time. The game not only had excellent graphics, but the storyline itself was hard-hitting and emotionally evocative. Imagine bawling your eyes out over a game, I know I did, and given that the game itself was such a smashing hit, the TV adaptation of the game had very big shoes to Phil. So, it makes sense why they'd choose a veteran actor like Pedro. The 47-year-old already had several super hit projects under his belt, and the storyline literally required him to play a father figure of sorts. I do, but I'm on Atkins. What now? It's, uh, you know what? We gotta run, but Sarah will be by later. She'll stay as long as you want. Tell you all about Atkins. We all know Pascal is great at that. Of course, this time, it was a tad bit different. He had to play a father figure to an estranged girl named Ellie in the midst of a zombie apocalypse. Not the most ideal parenting conditions for Joel, am I right? And that was precisely the challenge for our veteran actor. He needed to be able to connect to his character so he could play it in a convincing way. And this was a role he really, really wanted. In fact, he revealed recently that as soon as Craig Mazin sent him the script, he knew immediately that he had to bag the role. But Pedro is also a man who likes to study every character he's portraying. And for this one, he had his own trick up his sleeve. I didn't know about the game before I got the job. And then I got the job and I found out very quickly about the game. It's a very famous video game. Yeah. The Game of Thrones actor decided to study using video games. A world where playing a video game would count as studying. Hmm, it sounds quite like a dream. Well, this dream turned into reality for Pedro, who had no experience whatsoever with the game prior to bagging the role. And once he had secured it, the showrunners asked him if he had ever played the game. He answered, quite frankly, that he had not. And that's precisely what they were looking for. They actually told him to keep it that way. Yes, that's right. Pedro was asked to stay away from the game. It sounds a little odd, but I'm sure the directors had their reasons. But did the actor do as he was told? Well, much like his GOT alter ego, Oberyn Martell, uh, Pascal clearly doesn't like following the rules. He immediately ordered the game from Naughty Dog and dived right into it along with his nephews. Ah, his nephews helped him prepare for the role. That's sweet. Except he did mention that they lost their patience quite a few times. It turns out our real life hero isn't as good with the console as we'd like to believe, but that's all right. Let's not forget that he's a boomer. After all, whatever the case may have been, the game really helped in the end because it allowed the actor to truly understand the role. He was able to live as Joel. It's fairly obvious why that would help him to embody the character better. But Pedro is a smart man. He understands that all things need to be done in moderation. The actor also wanted to create a healthy distance between himself and the video game. Let's make one thing very clear. HBO's Last of Us may be based on the game, but the creators took the liberty to make some changes where necessary. So it's not exactly a carbon copy. This means that the TV series portrayal of Joel is also a little different from the one we witnessed in the game. This is perhaps the reason why Pascal thought it would be best for him to create some space between the game and himself. He tried the game a few times, realized he didn't have the skill to handle the console, and instead chose to watch his nephew for a few hours. And that was it. After that, he decided to finally follow directions and not engage in the game any further. But it looks like whatever trick he had in mind actually paid off, because the series is a smashing success. With more than 8 million viewers and a 
rating of 9.1 on IMDb, everyone is going gaga over the series and Pascal's acting. And now you know he did it. But not all his role preparations were quite as fun. And uh, this show will explain exactly what I mean. Let's talk about Game of Thrones. The fans of this legendary show may disagree on many subjects, but there's one thing everyone agrees on, and it's that Oberyn Martell was a delight to witness. The character was pure entertainment, and each time he was on screen, he just charmed the audience. But getting him right wasn't easy for Pascal. He literally had to perfect his martial arts skills in a few weeks, especially when preparing for his iconic battle with the mountain. For this, Pedro was put under the charge of Master Hu, a wushu master. It's a type of martial arts for those who don't know. Pedro later revealed that he had to train for hours with spears that were much taller than him. This took quite the physical toll. But hey, playing an iconic character always requires a whole lot of work. The good thing is that The Last of Us star is more than willing to put in the effort. This becomes all the more clear when you hear about how he had to prepare for another famous project. As it turns out, The Mandalorian required him to take a trip down memory lane. This time, he had to play the very complex character of a bounty hunter, and like all his other projects, Pedro aimed to deliver. But not without a bit of help from the legends of his childhood. That's right, folks. The Chilean actor recruited the help of the iconic Carrie Fisher and Harrison Ford, the OG Star Wars legends. No rendition of the franchise is complete without them, and Pedro knew that already. As I said, smart man. He revealed in an interview that, for him, the best way to play the titular character was actually to go back to his childhood. He watched all the films from the Star Wars saga all over again, and he made sure that they were all in order. <laughs> Darn, that must have been quite the trip down memory lane. It's making me want to pull out my Star Wars collection too, because this makes it clear that old movies aren't just there to collect dust on our shelves. Rewatching the films really helped him understand the plot better. He explained how he connected the story to themes like war, family, and personal conflict, and that only added to his understanding of the role. But that's not all. The actor was also asked to watch Akira Kurosawa and Sergio Leone films. These films were supposed to teach him the good, the bad, and the ugly, but also train him to embody an element of mystery that his role demanded. This makes it clear that when shooting for a film, Pedro Pascal always tries to connect with the character's history. Binge watching classic cinema and playing super hit video games might seem like easy peasy ways of preparing for a role, but they're actually part of the actor's study of the character and his history. All the examples above make one thing clear. Pascal tries to find a middle ground between himself and his character. That's how he prepares for his roles. He likes to humanize all the roles he's playing and learn more about them. His portrayal of characters is always contingent on an emotional connection with them. That's why his acting is so convincing. And that's all I have to say about how Pedro Pascal really prepares for his roles.